Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. Today we're going to talk about crossfading and uh, of course a feature included in Magic Samplitude Pro, uh, X3, X4, X5, uh, a lot of other versions as well. Uh, in uh, Pro X5, uh, sadly uh, the default settings were set to zero millisecond, so you'll see what it can do. Um, fading is, of course, having the level go down if you fade out, uh, and the level go uh, up if you fade in uh, on an audio uh, signal. And crossfading would be uh, doing both on different signals and crossfading. Uh, the audio so one goes down and the others goes up at the same time so they blend together it's uh, pretty handy if you're doing uh, punch in and punch outs uh, on an instrument let's say on a uh, on a guitar and while uh, the instrument plays you start the recording then one recording is on top of the other one uh, so let's dive in right away So while not using a uh, crossfade or fading uh, an object when you put it uh, on top of another one, uh, there's some noises that can be produced by the software, uh, generated by the sudden change of uh, wave files that it needs to process. So let's try something. Uh, let's see. Maybe this part, and we listen. Mineration de Belma, notre personnel. Mineration de Belma. Okay, there was a, a little click. I'm gonna move it. Mineration de Belma, notre personnel. Now, no click. So it depends on the content of both clips. Mineration de Belma, notre personnel. Mineration de Belma, notre personnel. Mineration de Belma. Did you hear the click? So to avoid this, uh, you can manually do a uh, crossfade. We're gonna zoom in and I can do this. And now the click should be gone. On the balma, on the balma, on the balma. But if you have to copy and paste a lot of uh, objects or you do a lot of punch in, punch out on a project, um, it might be a good idea to activate the auto crossfade, which is this button up here. Uh, but the thing is, before you do, check the crossfade settings uh, because uh, when I installed uh, Pro X5, the crossfade settings was at zero millisecond, so it was like not having any uh, crossfade at all. So what you need to do is to uh, right click on the fading uh, icon, go to crossfade editor, and then the crossfade length should be changed um, either by sample or milliseconds. Um, so let's try 20 milliseconds. See, it did it right away. And we need to click on uh, set to replace the global settings. Okay, so anytime that we hit T, we, or we copy uh, an object on another one, it will create those crossfade automatically. Uh, 20 milliseconds might be a bit long. You can go to 15 or 10 milliseconds if you want. There, crossfade editor. And, whoops. Here, 10. Then set, apply. And we f if we do another one, See, they are shorter, so they might in, induce less uh, artifacts. 
So I hope this clarified a few questions. Uh, if you have a problem with the auto crossfade of Samplitude, of course, knowing how to use the crossfade. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on like, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications, and put questions and comments below. Uh, it's what drives the channel to go forward. And of course, share my videos. It's always a great help.